Hey y'all, Pastor Sydney here for Saturday Sunday School. It's Holy Saturday and I'm in the sanctuary and we've been getting ready for Easter Sunday service for tomorrow. And so today's Saturday Sunday School will actually only be singing on Sunday morning. So the first thing that I'd like to do with you is read you the scripture passage for this day. So y'all listen to the story. Sunday morning. The sun peeked over the trees. The sky was filled with pink and orange light. As soon as Mary Magdalene and her friends woke up, they remembered what had happened two days before. Jesus had died on a cross. They wiped tears from their eyes, feeling so sad. They missed Jesus very much. But now it was time to anoint Jesus' body. The women walked quietly to the tomb that held Jesus' body. When they arrived, the ground began to shake under their feet. An earthquake! Mary and the other women were afraid and they held tightly to one another. And then everything became still. The women slowly stepped closer to the tomb. The huge stone was gone. Someone something had rolled it away. The women looked into the tomb and gasped. <gasps> Jesus' body was gone. You see, they're walking to the tomb. And then there's an earthquake. And then they discover that the tomb is empty. The women blinked their eyes. Who is that? An angel, they saw an angel dressed in white, dressed in dazzling white. Don't be afraid, the angel said. You are looking for Jesus, but he isn't here. Jesus is alive, so go and tell his disciples Jesus is risen. Could it be true? The women wondered. Mary and her friends rushed to tell the other disciples, and suddenly Jesus appeared. Greetings, he said, and the women reached out to touch him. Jesus, it's you, Mary shouted, and her friends jumped and clapped their hands, and they were crying and so happy. And Jesus smiled at them and said, go and tell the rest of my disciples that I am alive. So the women raced down the road to share this good news. Jesus is risen. There's Jesus appearing to the women. And then he's commanding them to go and tell the others. So this is the word of our Lord. Thanks be to God. Now you all might remember that on the first Sunday of Lent, during church, I brought this box up during our children's sermon, and inside it, we put all of our alleluias, because during Lent, we remember the sacrifice that Jesus made in journeying to the cross for all of God's people, and we um, are we're more serious during Lent. And this Lent sure has felt serious, but today, on Easter Sunday, we get to unbox, unbury our alleluias, and remember that Jesus was raised from the dead. So here we go. We're going to open up the box. And they're still all inside, all of our alleluias. Hallelujah in English. Alleluia in Spanish. Alleluia in Hebrew. Alleluia in Afrikaans. Alleluia in Greek. Alleluia in Korean. And our tomb is empty too. There's just grave clothes left, just like Jesus' tomb. So last week, 32 different families in our church family took a coloring sheet from me, and it was a coloring tile. And um, we all worked together to create a big Easter banner. And 
And so now I'm excited to show you what this banner looks like. And here it is. Our big Alleluia. Our church family is represented in this banner. And not just our church family, but the whole kingdom of God. You'll see how different every piece is. How the patterns are different. And they don't clash. They really go together. Because all of our Alleluias go together, especially on Easter Sunday. So as you go about your Easter with your family or whomever you're sheltering in place with, remember that God still wants our Alleluias, even if we can't all be together. So Jesus is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. Amen. Go in peace.